And now a KTI TV news break. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Herman, a resident of Ojai and a man from Mexico are scheduled to make a court appearance in Ventura in about an hour in connection with the largest drug bust in Gold Coast history. The district attorney's office plans to file special allegations against 65-year-old William Rakestraw of Ojai. Authorities describe Rakestraw as a heavyweight dope dealer who lived modestly in an Ojai trailer park. He was arrested Monday outside of Ventura Hotel as he allegedly handed over two kilos of high-grade cocaine to 33-year-old Oscar Padino of Cancun, Mexico. After the arrest of the two men, a key found on Rakestraw led authorities to a storage locker in Ojai where they found about 240 pounds of cocaine. An accused killer will get a special trial to determine if he's mentally competent to face the murder charge against him. That's what a Ventura County Superior Court judge has ruled. 43-year-old Ronald Galeska is suspected of killing a North Hollywood man last year and then dumping the man's dismembered body in a box near Piru. Galeska's competency trial is slated for January 20th. It's expected to last about five days. Don't blame the president. That's what Defense Secretary Casper Weinberger is saying today about the Iran arms scandal. Weinberger, in an NBC interview, says Reagan got bad advice from those who said there were moderates to deal with in the Iranian government. Weinberger calls the leaders of Iran lunatics. Meanwhile, at the White House today, spokesman Larry Speak says the president agrees with comments Vice President Bush made yesterday. Bush said mistakes were made in the secret deals that sent American weapons to Iran and profits from those deals to the Contra rebels. And word comes at this hour that the president's cabinet members will be called to testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee probing the Iran arms Contra connection. Presidential spokesman Speaks had another announcement today, this one about himself. He says he's resigning to take a job with Merrill Lynch. Speaks will join the Wall Street firm in February. Speaks became the president's chief spokesman after Press Secretary James Brady was wounded in the assassination attempt on the president in 1981. The fate of Wildwood Mesa will be discussed at a public hearing tonight. Many local residents say the Mesa might soon be bulldozed to make way for a huge housing tract. An eight-year grassroots battle to preserve the Mesa in Thousand Oaks has resulted in a complex compromise between developers and the city. The nine-part deal allows the property owner to put up 51 houses if the remaining 228 acres is preserved. The developer, Orange Builders, will also get the nod to build 30 homes in North Ranch, which has been off limits to construction. Public hearing will take place in the Thousand Oaks City Council Chambers at 7.30 p.m. Up next, we'll tell you if an umbrella is in order today, plus a look at some of the stories we're working on in the k Tai Newsroom. There's always something special at the Oaks. Take a look, the holidays are here. Come and share the special time of year. We've got something here for everyone. Come and join the fun. There's always something special. The Gold Coast weather forecast for this Thursday calls for patchy clouds and cooler temperatures. Highs along the coast should reach the mid-60s, low 70s inland, with a 20% chance of showers in the late afternoon. It'll stay mostly cloudy through the night, with slightly warmer temperatures. Overnight lows should be in the upper 40s. And it looks like rain tomorrow, the weatherman predicting a 40% chance of light showers. Highs at the beaches will again be in mid-60s and into the upper 60s inland. Coming up at 6 on the KTI Gold Coast News, tenants of several thousand Oaks homes say they have, the homes have been illegally converted into boarding houses. And they're facing eviction. We'll talk with them and some angry neighbors. Local hospital is unveiling its mobile kidney stone crusher today. We'll find out how it works. And we'll tell you how you can join us in donating toys this holiday season to help some Gold Coast kids who may not get any presents without our help. Randy Rosenblum will have all the sports. Steve Miller and Letitia Ponce will have all the day's top stories from along the Gold Coast and around the world. That's Newsbreak. I'm Steve Herman, KTI TV Gold Coast News. Have a good afternoon. And now a KTI TV Newsbreak. Good afternoon. I'm Steve Herman. The population of Ventura County could jump by as much as 125% by the year 2010. That's what a report just released by the Southern California Association of Governments is predicting. County planners say they're surprised by these new figures. They're predicting growth by the year 2010, more in the range of about 45%. Back in September, SCAG released preliminary data attributing the predicted population jump to high levels of immigration, a high birth rate, and the region's strong economy. Six-county area surrounding Los Angeles is now home to nearly 12.5 million people, 
Within the next quarter of a century, that number will swell to 18.3 million, according to the Government Association. Two men charged in the biggest drug bust ever along the Gold Coast say they're innocent. William Rakestraw of Ojai and Oscar Padino of Cancun, Mexico, have entered not guilty pleas in Ventura County Municipal Court. They were arrested Monday in Ventura in connection with the seizure of 240 pounds of high-grade cocaine. Both men remain behind bars today in lieu of a million dollars bail each. The Soviets say they're sticking with salt, too, even after the U.S. decided to exceed the limits of the nuclear arms treaty. Moscow is calling the deployment of new cruise missiles on B-52 bombers a violation of agreements in principle reached at the Iceland summit. The SALT II treaty has never been ratified by Congress. Meanwhile, in Geneva, this is the last day of a four-day session for U.S. and Soviet negotiators. The American side says the purpose of the talks is to clarify positions and narrow differences on nuclear and space weapons as a prelude to full arms negotiations next January. Plans to turn Thousand Oaks jungle land into a shopping land have been put on hold. Sharaka Incorporated wants to take the land, which was once home to a lion farm, and get it rezoned for commercial use in retail stores. One of the stores was supposed to be a Gemco, but as you may have heard, Gemco is going out of business. City's planning department is waiting to hear if the Target chain, which bought out Gemco, wants to build a store in Thousand Oaks. John Prescott of the city's planning department says a public hearing on the jungle land rezoning, which was slated for this past Tuesday, will probably not happen now until sometime next month. Ventura City Police detectives are advising homeowners in the area to padlock their garage doors, especially if they use electronic garage door openers. Police are looking into a bizarre series of 15 garage burglaries in the city. Seems that the only items taken by the thieves are toolboxes. And the burglar apparently has a device which enables him to open garage doors hooked up to those electronic door openers. The incidents have primarily occurred on the east end of Ventura. Coming up next, we'll take a look at Gold Coast weekend weather, plus some of the stories we're working on in the K-Tai Newsroom. It's happening now, the big Goodyear grand opening celebration for our Ventura store. Find every Goodyear tire in stock 25% off. Come in and register to win a ride in a Goodyear blimp or a color TV. Buy four tires and get a free turkey. Mention K-Tai and get a free yardstick. Hello, I'm John, manager of the Goodyear store on Vineyard in Oxnard. Visit our store to receive the finest products and service in the area. For state-of-the-art service or state-of-the-art Goodyear tires, it's Goodyear in Oxnard, Camarillo, or our new store at 150 West Main Street in the Garden Plaza in Ventura. Checking Gold Coast weather for this Friday and through the weekend. Today's forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies with a slight chance of sprinkles in the late afternoon. Highs along the coast today should stay in the lower 60s, reaching the mid-60s in the inland areas. We can expect overnight lows in the upper 40s tonight with a 30% chance of light rain. Weekend weather looks damp and a little bit cooler with continued cloudiness and predicted showers. Coastal highs tomorrow will be in the low to mid-60s, reaching the upper 60s in the warmer inland areas. Coming up at 6 on the K-Tai Gold Coast News, residents of a local mobile home park are seeing red after they looked at their latest utility bills, which show that there are increases of more than 900%. Some Thousand Oaks shoppers don't like what they see at a local Christmas tree lot. Their reindeer will explain. And today's the day that excavations are scheduled to begin at a Shumash Indian burial site. Randy Rosenblum will have a live report from Simi Valley as the high school basketball season gets underway. And Steve Miller and Letitia Ponce will have all the day's top stories. That's Newsbreak. I'm Steve Herman, KTIE TV, Gold Coast News. Have a KTIE TV. Team KTIE TV 64.